Hello Scrappy Land, this is Susan. It is a Thursday afternoon and I've gotten um, a million email requests since I posted the blog this morning about etching cream. So I'm gonna go over real quick here, um, show you kinda how etching cream works now that Danny's carrying some etching cream at Scrappy Land. Um, we're gonna talk about it. The first thing you're gonna need is some Quick Cuts vinyl. I love the vinyl that Quick Cuts has because it has all these grids on the back, which makes it really easy to eyeball what you're cutting. I'm gonna cut out a piece here that is big enough for um, a revolution die. Get that cut. And then I'm going to run through one of the flourishes from the uh, December release. It's kind of the daisy flourish. You're going to put colored side of your vinyl down. We want the vinyl to cut. And put your cutting mat on top of there. The other thing you're going to need is uh, Danny is carrying the Etch All brand, which is not the brand I'm using today because it's not available here in any store and I haven't gotten an order yet from Danny uh, placed. So um, I'm using just another different brand that's available. They're all basically the same, same concept. Um, you just have to need to read the specific directions. This one's going to take about five minutes to etch. The Etch All brand takes about 15 minutes, but the, what's so wonderful about the Etch All brand is that it is reusable. I've cut out my shape. Here's my flourish. What you want to think of is what the part that you want to be etchy and um, fuzzy is the negative shape. So I'm going to peel this off. And all I'm etching here is I just have a plate of glass that I've cleaned with some Windex. And I like to work on it um, on a piece of cardstock. It makes it a little bit easier to keep track of um, my air bubbles and things. So I'm going to place it down here, getting it all lined up. You don't want to have any bubbles. Press it down real gently. And then I take um, a hotel key. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing it hard and firm. I'm just rubbing the edges. You just want to burnish those edges because you don't want any of the cream to ooze underneath. This is the part that you're masking off. The part that is clear in the center where I can see, whoops, see, I did that too hard. The part that you can see is the part that's going to be hazy. It's going to get etched, okay? So there's my piece of glass. And I've got a nice wide border because you don't want any of the etching cream to go over into the glass. The green is now going to keep it off the glass. So, but I've got to go back and add my little dots in my flowers. Give it a little bit more of the detail. Okay, so again, take the back of your finger now, the edge of your credit card, or not your credit card, the edge of a hotel card, the gift card, and just make sure everything is nice attached. Then I just take a, a rag and just you don't want any thumbprints. So I'll hold it up, make sure it looks pretty clean. All right. Then um, I the, this is the brand I'm using, same size bottle. This is a three ounce bottle. Danny's selling a four ounce and a, a larger size. Go ahead and start with just the four ounce size. I'm going to just take my foam brush and dip it in here. And you want a thick coat, a thick coat, all right? And I'm using kind of a, a dabbing motion. You don't want to get it on your skin. I think technically you're supposed to have um, gloves on, but I'm not real good at following the rules. You just want a nice thick coat. And since you're putting this on glass, a nice trick is to turn it over and you can see kind of where you've put it. And just keep tapping until you've got, like I said, a real heavy layer on top. All right, clean up my jar here. But then once you've got it there, you pretty much need to leave it. If you do too much messing around with it, you're gonna get um, kind of waves. It's gonna etch in different layers. So you wanna just do as quickly as you can, get it on there, seal up your bottle. Don't bother rinsing out your brush because um, this is now trash. And then we're going to wait for five minutes. Okay, now we're back. We've waited. I've actually waited about 10 minutes. I got a phone call. What can I say? Um, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. But um, it's done its etching. It looks doesn't look anything different right now. But what I'm going to do is step over here to the sink. 
and I'm just rinsing off the cream. It kind of rubs off. Okay, move my little paper. So there is that. I'm gonna dry it. And then I'm going to peel off. And so far I've always ended up destroying my template once I peel it off. Once it's wet and been under the cream, it's pretty much at one time. I mean, you could try, I guess, if you had a very simple display, you could try and get more time out of it. Now, I think this would make the cutest baby gift with a baby's name etched into a piece of, this is actually glass from a uh, frame. Okay, give it a dry. And then to see what it looks like, hold it up again to your dark cardstock. And there you have it, your etched glass that's ready to put back into a frame and put your photograph behind it. Um, you saw my Super Bowl glasses for this weekend. That's just one of them that I've come up with. I'm sure there'll be more. Go ahead and give it a try. Stick a four ounce bottle of Etch All Cream in your cart and uh, get a disposable foam brush and a roll of vinyl and you will be good to go. Make sure you share what you make. Thanks so much for watching Scrappy Land on the air.